Welcome back to the channel everybody. Easy here. Doing a war recap. Damage Inc. GB Elite. Another 50-50 war. Uh, it's one of our conjunction wars. I'm calling it Damage Elite. Whenever our clans get together. Kind of like the sound of that. We're actually playing a clan called Wisconsin Elite. So uh, uh, Elite versus Elite. Uh, first attack is done by Creeper. First attack in the video at least. Uh, he's going to start off with the Zap Quake. Sorry about that. I'm actually looking at something else too. Uh, starts off with a zap quake. Comes in with the with the dragaloon. Uh, one of the few people that can do a dragaloon all the way up into the the higher levels of Town Hall Nine. So he, he kind of uses the same strategy on each of the bases that he attacks. So what he'll do is he'll pull the clan castle troops and take care of it with the dragons. We'll try to try to do that away from the defenses. And then he'll use the dragons to tank for the balloons. So as he comes up to the first air defense, he's going to let, let the air defense lock onto the dragons. Th then come in with the balloons. Take the air defense out with the balloons. And he's got a clan... Uh, in the clan castle, he's, he's got a lava hound. And he's going to hold off on the lava hound until it has to cross over the entire base. Uh, I've seen him do this several times. And by doing this, he's going to... He's going to pull all that aggro, all the, all the, all the fire off of these dragons and get it all onto that lava hound as the dragons enter the core of the base so just as the dragons enter the core uh the lava hound crosses over the core gets all kinds of attracts all kinds of attention from all the defenses and at this point most of the defenses have their backs to the dragons and the dragons come in towards the back of the base the balloons are still up dragons are still up it brings in the heroes to try to distract some of the other uh some of the other defenses uh he's got a tesla tower and a wizard tower that's on on the heroes and the, the king will, will go in and tank for the queen for a minute. Uh, awesome overall attack. This is a, these, are, these are not easy attacks. These dragon attacks in Town Hall 9 are not easy. Um, I've, we've, all, we've all used dragons in Town Hall 8. Town Hall 7, they're great. Town Hall 8, they start to get a little spotty here and there. But once you get to Town Hall 9 and they have these level 6 uh, air defenses, they are way stronger than dragons. So you have to start using really good uh, tactics. To manipulate the dragons through these bases and you have to use other troops to try to d distract the defenses because the dragons just aren't going to plow through the base <clears throat> got caught off guard a little bit with that last little builder so it almost had that uh that that 99 that everyone hates doing but uh creeper would never do that he's he i don't think he's ever had a 99 percent he wouldn't do that to himself <laughs> i would but he wouldn't Okay, great attack by Creeper. Oops. And as we're wrapping up, the next attack is is uh, by Boss. Uh, actually, it's the the mini account Little Boss. And as we're getting ready to watch the attack, just to give you some background on the uh, on the attack, I believe the scouting on this took about seven hours. Uh, she scouts it for six or seven hours before she attacks. Does a complex attack anyway. Uh, this is an attack that everyone really wants to try to perfect. This is a Gola Loon, and the objective here is to send in a, a pretty hefty kill squad. The kill squad is go Golems, Wizards, the, the heroes. Uh, the clan castle has bowlers coming out of it. Jumps into the base, and if you see, there's on the on the left side of this base, there's an air defense right there uh, above Town Hall, and there's another air defense kind of on the bottom left. Here comes the clan castle troops. Uh, goal is take out the clan castle troops take out the enemy queen and try to take out both of these air defenses now if she manages to do that not, she has a huge advantage in this attack um, and at this point right now the queen is on town hall she's about to take down town hall the bowlers are on this on the air defense down bottom i mean this attack could not have gone any better for her uh, puts in the first lava hound on the air defense uh, sweepers kind of working against her, but there's not really a lot you can do. Uh, maybe come in that uh, the other side, but it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, first air defense goes down. Uh, first lava hound is still up. Second lava hound comes in, so now there's two lava hounds. There's one air defense, and there's I think 200 balloons that are left up, right around there. And it's just, this is another. I've watched uh, boss do several attacks now, and so funny how much time they're spent scouting the bases and just how effective her attacks are um can someone tell her that she doesn't have to scout that long because these are perfect attacks <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding though um whatever she's doing she's doing it very well this is not an easy attack 
I know watching watching these attack some of these attacks that uh, that are done in this war, you would think that these are just simple attacks to do. They're not. These are complex attacks. Uh, the Gola Loon, it's a it's an attack that's been around for a long time, but it's not easy. Um, the first objective to take out think about think about what the kill squad has to do, has to take out the enemy clan castle, has to take out the queen, has to take out at least one air defense, hopefully two air defenses. And then to take out Town Hall 2, and if you notice, both heroes are still up. Lava Hound is still up. That's not the greatest thing, but still, Lava Hound is still up. And, uh, got a half a dozen balloons up still. So, awesome attack. Okay, up next is Maximus. Uh, damage elite, damage ink guy. Um, he's gonna be using the flex in this attack. This is one of, uh, Dam damage ink's premier attacks. Uh, Maximus has been using this attack... He's been using this attack for a long time, and and he's got it down. He's gonna start off with a queen walk. The, he, he, what he wants to do is take out some of these defenses right here along this wall, and that way he, he can get the wall breakers onto the wall. He pulls the clan castle troops with the queen's ability. He's got the king there. He rages up the healers. So now he's got the queen's taking out the clan castle troops. He's taking out a bunch of defenses, taking out the the king, and now he's got a nice simple open wall for him to go in. And uh, put the wall breakers on, get the giants on it, and then he's going to start the core part of the attack. So he comes in with the clan, with his uh, clan castle bowlers, puts a few uh, healers on them. So now he's got this big giant, uh, I call it a wrecking ball, uh, gr group of troops come into the into the core of the base. Puts a jump spell to get himself onto the core of the base. Uh, now he's got the queen in the in the core, so you always have to be careful. Whenever the queen is in the core, you you want to make sure you either have a poison spell, a heal spell, a rage spell. You you want to get through the queen using something, uh, because she can really put a hurt on on your attack. But he rages into the core. He puts a heal spell on the core, and uh, the 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 jump spell has got everything in the core at once. I mean, he's got every troop, but uh, four or five troops into the core. Uh, was really fortunate. He had he has a group of Valkyries that maybe one or two of them ran into a, a set of du double giant bombs, so they all don't get damaged. Uh, he's got the queen in the core right now with with healers on top of her. He's got giants in front of her, so they're tanking for the queen, and he's just got all kinds of things going for him. Meanwhile, he's got bowlers going around the bottom side of the base. I don't think the bowlers have a, a healer on them. No, they don't. So they're gonna they're gonna disappear. He's got a Valkyrie up top uh, doing work on some of these trash buildings. He's got another Valkyrie going around the outside. And really, this this attack it ends up this way a lot. Where you have a, a healer or two on top of the queen. And the queen's going to do a lot of finish up, a lot of clean up work. Um, saved a wizard. I believe he probably put that wizard on that, on that builder side over there in the corner. Uh, meanwhile, the queen is on the last couple of little compartments. She can reach everything except for that one cannon from this compartment right here. So he did, he put the wizard on the corner on the builder side, it's got the queen and uh, several Valkyries left, taking out these last couple uh, defenses, and this is a wrap. Great base too, if you look at the base, this is a max Town Hall 9, max walls, I don't know what the heroes look like, but I believe, I mean this is a totally max Town Hall 9 that he just uh, walked right over. So great, great attack by Maximus. Okay, next up is Karma. Uh, we can't have a uh, GB Elite Damage Inc. Uh, recap without Karma having some part of it. We got another six pack this war. Coming in with uh, a, a mass bowler attack. Uh, mass bowlers, six healers, Town Hall 11, uh, level 30 level thirty heroes at level 12 uh, um, warden. And does a great job uh, of funneling all the troops. I mean, every single troop that he has in the game right now is in this first little section. When he hits the Warden ability, he gets 100% of the troops in the Warden's ability. Uh, that, that is a huge, huge advantage when you're in an attack and you're able to use the Warden's ability and get every single troop in the game invincible for that 4 or 5 seconds, whatever it is. So, they, they get to the core of the base, puts another jump spell on the core. Uh, it's got just tons, tons of DPS uh, when it comes up to that back end Inferno Tower, and he's got one, two, three, four, five healers up still. He's got the Grand Warden behind a group of bowlers, which you know he has this healing ability that he's got all the time. It's not, not anything really great, but he still does uh, recoup a little bit of their hit points as he's going behind them. Uh, and the Warden is, you know, he's his his attacking ability isn't talked that about that much. But the one thing that should be known about the Warden is he has an incredible range. 
So if you see what he's doing here, he's shooting all the way over an entire compartment. <laughs> so that's that might be you know the queen used to have the best range, but the the wardens outrange the queen for sure. And uh, normally he'll follow up on other troops and he'll assist other troops, which um, I've seen that to be pretty detrimental in certain attacks where. You know the wardens on town hall, but the other troops are on different defenses, and he'll go help them out. But in this case, he's so far away from the queen that he's just able to clean up all these trash buildings. He's perfect at it. He's got tons of range. The walls don't stop him. So the queen's got healers on her. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of trash buildings left. Not a lot of defenses left. But see, at this point of the attack, if you didn't have the warden in right here, you'd be in trouble because the queen won't be able to eat through all all those uh, storages. Two storages, one archer tower. But you put the the warden in there on top of that. It's not a problem <clears throat> I'm not sure how much time he had left in the actual attack uh, It seems like this attack went by pretty fast. So he probably had plenty of time anyway But you know uh, something else to say mass bowlers For a town hall 11. It's a it's a pretty effective attack for town hall 10. That's a risky attack It really is so for anyone that's out there watching this that's a Town Hall 10 if you think you can go in there and put in 25 bowlers and walk over a base It's not as easy as you think it takes a lot of strategy it takes a great funnel and it takes some perfect spell placement So great great attack by karma Okay, next attack is by V one of damage ink guys uh, He's using the pentaloon or the pentalavaloon uh this this attack is one of my favorite attacks. It's got five lava hounds. Yeah, the rest of the rest of the troops are balloons. A little bit risky because there's no minions, but because there's five lava hounds, there's going to be so many pups left over that the, that kind of makes up for the lack of the minions. And he puts in all the lava hounds right off the bat. Um, follows them right up with a bunch of bunch of uh, right now. There's one, two, three, four hay spells are up at this point right now. And he's going to save one more haste spell to try to get these back end um, uh, balloons on the on these back end defenses right here. And I don't know if you were uh, paying attention, but that attack took about 11 seconds. <laughs> and the queen doing some work. The the enemy uh, archer queen wasn't able to get taken out, but wasn't able to get taken out by uh, any of the pups at this point. So she's still up. So this right here is a really dangerous attack at this point. I would be I'd be shitting if I was him right now because this is uh this has 99% or something like that written all over it But fortunately, he's got his archer queen with the ability um, The barbarian king comes up to the wall gets her attention His archer queen takes her out and all of a sudden you can breathe again <laughs> That could have been a disaster um, not being able to get to the archer queen at all um, You know when you have a, a pentaloon is known for being able to not have to worry about the queen quite as much and not have to worry about the clan castle troops quite as much because you have five lava hounds out there and there's a really good chance that um, they're gonna lock on to the lava hounds and they're gonna pop the lava hounds and when they do you can use a, a rage spell on them and all those pups will take care of the queen or take care of whatever uh, clan castle troops there are and he still has an archer tower up I didn't even see that till just a second ago <coughs> a lot of troops out there to distract him uh, still has queen ability so Again, great attack. I mean V six pack for V this war and uh, He was at he was attacking bases that were right around his level. These are tough bases. These are max town hall nines So last attack From damage ink is root dog Now he, root dog is gonna use the I believe he used the the bitch attack <laughs> You know, you can have to laugh. <laughs> He's gonna use the bitch. Which is bowlers and witches. It's not said that that's not just to say bitch over and over. There's actually a reason for it. <laughs> And what he does here is he's going to come in with two different he, he comes in with two completely different sets of troops and he starts off with two two different sets of bowlers under, uh, w underneath healers and he'll put a couple of witches in each one of those groups and they'll they'll come in with a big group right down the core. Now this is a base that I can proudly say that I zero starred. I don't know how, what I did wrong, except uh, the lava hound came out of the clan castle and I had seven or six or seven witches concentrate on the on a lava hound for some reason. <laughs> so he comes in and was able to jump. He did everything right. I did everything wrong. He did everything right. He he breaks through the first wall easily. 
He jumps into the core, wipes out the core in about two seconds, jumps out of the core, um, and he has, he's got at least 140, 120, 140 something housing space of troops left. So there's a huge difference. This is, this is one of the things that I've been saying for a while. There is a big difference between Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 right now. I'm not downplaying what he did, I, the, the strategy he used was excellent. But, but just uh, the power that behind the Town Hall 11 attack onto a Town Hall 10 is just immense. And th that's something that Supercell has been trying to do for quite a while now. They've been trying to put, get the separation between Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. I think they did a really good job of it here. Last one is uh, Generally Weird. This is the bitch slap attack. We just did a video on this. This is uh, an attack that was showcased by some. Uh, there's a couple of elite clans out there that have that, that are using this attack. Uh, GB elites, one of them. We had KK that came into the clan and, and started showing us this attack. So we all started doing it last night. Uh, made a video on it last night, and uh, this this attack is going to be everywhere soon. Uh, the, the witches being the way they are right now. Uh, bowlers are always popular up at Town Hall 10 and 11 anyway, but um, this is a combination of uh, a bowler and witch walk using three or four witches on each corner uh, with healers on top of them, uh, which is a, which is what I call witch walk. You're trying to keep those witches with a couple bowlers mixed in with them, trying to keep those witches going around the outside of the base, and then you'll put a, a, a large group of witches and bowlers in the core. You'll jump them through the core. You have to have two jump spells for this for this attack. Um, I've tried it several times with one jump spell and two rage, and it just does not work as well. You have to have two jump spells for this. This him being a uh, generally weird being Town Hall 11, he, he gets that extra spell, so he can use two rage and two jump spells. But um, you're gonna see this attack a lot, people. You're gonna see a lot of people using this because the witches are so strong right now. Um, so the ground attack is not over. The ground game is not over. Uh, it's not all Laloon anymore. So awesome war two and zero. I know it says one and zero in this right here, but that was before the war started. So uh, looking forward to doing the next war. It's going to be in two weeks. I'll make sure that everyone will have we'll have at least one war recap from that war. So appreciate everyone for watching. But yeah, before I forget, if anyone else out there has tried to use this attack, the bit slap. Uh, leave me a message down there in, in, the, in the comment section. I want to know if this is working as well for you guys as it is for us. So, until next time, it's been easy. Everyone take care.